everyone. Um, it's Teacher Cams. So today I want to discuss to you um, how to use your Google Calendar and your Google Keep. Um, last time I've discussed uh, your Google Drive and how to organize it in a way that is helpful to you as students. So today I want to go over to Google Calendar and Google Keep. So first, if you are inside Google Drive, how you can access Google Keep and Google Calendar on this side. So you can see here, uh, here's Google Calendar and here's Google Keep. So once you press that, so it would automatically um, launch a calendar wherein you can see all your daily tasks and scheduled assignments. So as an example, here, um, so every assignment that was posted in the Google Classroom, I can find everything here. So once I click on that, so all the tasks scheduled by my teacher and the notes included in that task would be easily accessible from your calendar. So just make sure you are using the same account as Google Classroom and your Google Calendar. So it syncs both accounts and everything can be accessible in Calendar and in Keep. So what is Google Keep? Google Keep right here, it's a note-taking service developed by Google. So it's also free. So once you sync your account with Google Keep, it will launch a panel wherein you can take notes or make lists. Say for example, you are sorting your notes by subject. So once you're done um, sorting your notes in categories, you can click the uh, three dots here and then open it in Keep. And then in here, you can customize your notes. Um, you can say, for example, um, show checkboxes. So you can add um, an item underneath the category say for example you have a task so task one if you want to add a task beneath a task say for example task Here, the six dots click here and then drag it down and then you can just click and drag and indent it so that it shows that it's a part of a task or, or a bigger task then you can also customize the color so say for example, in Google Drive, you've used red for math. Um, you can also do that in your sticky notes and then close it. So once that's done, when you access your Google Drive, it shows right here. Okay, so you can also pin the note so it shows at the top. So pinning a note um, basically means you are putting a priority at a, a certain task, um, meaning it's an imminent thing that you need to do or accomplish. So the same thing with, say, um, science. So I'll open it in Keep. And then 
um, click the three dots, show check boxes, and then I'll list all the tasks that I need to do. If there are smaller tasks that I need to accomplish under a bigger one, so I'll just say label it task 1 dash A and then task 1 dash B task 1 dash C. So I can just click the six dots. So wait for that four arrow icon to come out and then just drag it over here and then I can just indent everything so it shows up neatly. Yeah. So I'll use yellow because it's the color of the folder that I used. So once I go to my Google Drive, refresh it. So all of my tasks here are shown in color-coded uh, method. So it appears as sticky notes that are more organized. So you can click, uh, if it's a bigger list, you can click the tiny three dots in here to expand and once you're done with your task um, you can click on it say check and then check check and then you can delete it on your items as you go so and then once you're done here I can just click done by checking the checkbox and then done so there it shows how many completed tasks you have accomplished and that is helpful to you if you are keeping track of your online lessons and your online assignments. Okay, and one more thing. You can also sync everything in your phone and in your tablet download the app which is google keep once you are inside keep um, you will be asked to sign in with your um, google account so make sure you choose the same account as your google classroom and the one you used in your desktop so after that <clears throat> everything will be synced right here